that allows you to have better motion estimates. Okay? So my red, my my pixels, my original video pixels is in red. Okay? Now I will allow I will allow motion estimation, motion vectors to have non-integer value. Okay? That's the entire idea. I, I allow, okay, the way we have been doing it so far, our motion vectors will always give you an integer number, right? You either move two pixel away, three pixel away, 60, you know, 14 pixel away, but you cannot move 1.5 pixel away, right? So this is, this is, uh, uh, if you do half pixel motion estimations, you allow your motion vectors to point midway between the pixels, okay? Now, so that means you can have vectors like 1.5 and 3.5, okay? And when you step down to one, point, one, one quarter pixel motion estimation, you allow your motion vectors to have values like 1.25, 3.75, so on and so forth, okay? Now, the next step is how to fill in the blank, right? What do you mean by an object moving 1.5 pixel away? Right? Now, when object is moving very, very fast, okay, and you do integer sampling, you suddenly will miss certain motion, right? So that's, this is the entire idea of making the motions feel a little bit more continuous, okay? And, and you just use very standard bilinear interpolation to fill in the blank, okay? So these are the pixel value. You get this pixel here by uh, taking the average of A and B. Okay? You get this pixel here by taking the average of A, B, C, and D. You take the pixel here by taking the average of C and D. And you do motion estimation on this big one, on the bigger frame. You do motion estimation on the bigger frame. So that's all there is to it. Understand? Okay? So that's how you can have, if your block happens to sit right here, 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 then, then you actually have half motion, um, uh, um, uh, pixel motion. Okay. Now, there is one thing that I can say. I can claim. I can make this claim. Okay. The claim is, if I do sub-pixel motion estimations, my residue can only decrease. My residue, my prediction residue can only decrease. It can never increase. Okay. How do I say that? How can I make that claim? It's not the uh, it's crazy. It's the same estimation in the next form. Yes, that that this is this is the superset, yeah. which in, include the integer points, <laughs> right? Right. This space, this new space, which is twice the size, okay, include the original red pixels, right? Okay. So integer motion estimation is a subset of sub, in sub pixel motion estimation. It's a subset, okay? That means you, you also search the integer, you search the integer points, but you also search the half pixel points, okay? So in the worst case scenario, you always get the integer points back, okay? So, so this is the reason why this can only decrease the residue. What increases is the side information because it takes you twice. It takes twice, uh, uh, the, your, vic, your vector space has twice the amount of resolution. You have to describe the point five, okay? You have to describe the point five, so you need more bits to, to describe the motion vector, okay? So this is one of the main features that improve. Uh, so 263 is the follow-up of 261, okay? And it's, uh, it, it is actually H up to six one with many MPEG features optimized for low bit rate. So it's still it's still low bit rate. Uh, uh, it's a it's geared toward low bit rate uh, applications. It uh, has a major improvement over two six one, okay, and it's roughly about thirty percent bit rate saving over MPEG one. So this is a pretty powerful improvement. Over
over m hat 1. Um, so the 263 uh, main block diagram is this, and this is the main feature. Okay. This is the main difference between the two projects. This is where the 3 dB's improvement comes from. Okay. Um, well, first of all, it's, it's a lot more flexible. Okay. Uh, the group structure is different. Okay. Uh, the main thing is here. The main thing is actually here. As you can see, as you go from half pixel estima motion estimation compensation to full pixel motion estimation compensation, the improvement is roughly in the 2, two to 4 dB range. Okay, you have a lot more flexibility. Um, um, uh, um, certainly the complexity goes up tremendously because we have to at least four times, right? Okay, because the, the, the size of, of the reference frame is four times the original size. But this is a, a tremendous improvement. Okay, there's no loop filters here and there's also very smart coding techniques for motion uh, vectors. So the side information, in order to compensate for the resolution increase in motion vectors, we do better mo predicted motion of uh, uh, predicted coding of motion vectors, and that's how we keep the side information roughly the same. Okay. Now, um, HR two six three plus, okay, is whatever we have here, and then add the other add these features. Okay, these are the, the additional features that that people put in, and right now. This is a very popular codec. Okay, if you buy teleconferencing uh, 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 equipments nowadays, okay, most likely inside you have H of the six week plus in there. Okay, uh, the source code is all over the web. It's very powerful. It's, it's almost like MPEG four. This is almost like MPEG four. Okay, it has these are the advanced features. It has unrestricted motion vectors mode. Meaning the motion vectors can point outside of the frame. Okay, how do we do that? We symmetrically extend the frame on all four sides and allow the motion vectors to point to the extended. Okay, so sometimes there's an object that comes halfway into the frame. Okay, there's an object that comes halfway into the frame. You extend the frame and you tend to capture the inside object, right? So the motion vectors kind of like point outside of the boundary. So that is one advanced feature. The um, uh, 8263 Plus has the capability of breaking the micro plot into four 8x8 plots, and then have each of the 8x8 plots having motion vectors. Okay, that is an additional uh, uh, major improvement. It has something called overlap block motion compensation. It allows the neighboring blocks to contribute to the motion compensation. Okay? So we will not talk about these things too much because um, we don't have a lot of time. But uh, these, if you want to read about, they are pretty easy to understand and, 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 and implement. It. it has adaptive arithmetic coding the type of doing BCCD uh, arithmetic coding that we talk about uh, is the entropy coding engine. That is a significant improvement over Huffman. Okay? And then it has the PB frames mode. So in 263 plus, it actually has the capability of doing bi-directional motion estimation and compensation. <coughs> so I'm gonna bypass these, okay? And maybe so this tree comes like this, it's sitting right here. It got started roughly in 1998, 1997 or so, okay? And it ends roughly in December of 2004, okay? So this is the cutoff line for proposal acceptance, okay? This is it. Now, uh, it first started as H of 6 l and then it becomes H of 6 4 and then it becomes MPEG 4 part 10.